Hey there guys, so here I have my video review on the new uh, Wolverine and Deadpool Wolverine costume from Spirit Halloween. So I got this to do some skits with it and I was going to return it. But I saw a lot of people on TikTok and YouTube shorts were asking where I got the costume. And I honestly did think it was a pretty good costume for the price. And you know how compared to how it looks like in the movie. So the costume did cost, uh, I think it was 65 bucks or 60 bucks. I didn't look at the prices, I was going to return it either way. So here we have the packaging. Pretty cool costume. Show you guys the different parts. So here we have the accessories. So over here, wrapped in this paper, we got the claws. Pretty cool. You can uh, strap them onto your hands and I'll show you how to attach them to the gloves in a second. You have the cowl. Pretty neat cowl, just hard plastic. Pretty cool. Got the strap on. The strap on. <laughs> And then you got the gloves, two of course. This, which is like a, I guess a hood you put under the cowl. And the X-Men belt, which is attached with Velcro on the back. So I'm gonna show you guys how to put the claws inside the glove. So to put the gloves on with the claw, you wanna take off the strap right here and just put it around your knuckles like that. So that this part is touching your knuckles right there. And then at first, maybe it's just my version. It's going to be a little hard to get in there. But after you put it in for the first time, uh, that's what she said. Uh, this humor is so appropriate for the movie costume I'm reviewing. So you stick it in like that and then you just push. And then it might get stuck on the edges. So you just got to like uh, hole by hole, like just peel it back a bit. Uh, it slid in a little easier because I had to put it in before. That's what she said. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, guys, I have to. It's just... If it wasn't this movie, I wouldn't be using those jokes, but it's just, I guess, naturally coming out of me with this review. So then you really want to push it all the way down. So it's like the glove is right at the base of the knuckle for the claw. And then uh, adjust the fingers. And boom, you got yourself. The holes are kind of discreet if you decide to wear the gloves without the, the claws in them. Cause I know in the movie and in the comics, it does have like a little metal cap over these. So if you want, I guess you could get some styrofoam and make your own cap and maybe uh, hot glue it or something on there to hide the holes kind of uh, when you're not wearing it with the claws. And it pretty much is a padded suit, you know, uh, the sleeves. It would have been nice to also get a sleeveless version or maybe like Velcro the sleeves that you could take it off. That would have been cool. Perfect way to hide it too because you got the, the pads. Uh, that would have been cool. The front is padded. Um, not like thick abs or anything, it's just like, you know, to make the suit look more full. Um, the shoulder pads are kind of the same material. And then the rest is pretty much just like a jumpsuit. The knee pad is padded and you got your boot covers. So I'm going to put it on and show you guys what it looks like. So here's what the suit looks like on me. I did one hand with the claws and one without. I'll give you guys a close up in a bit. So I wasn't able to tie the middle. Uh, so I'm not sure if it was open right now when I'm turning around. The belt was Velcro. I like to align it with, uh seams so you know it blends in which is pretty nice and if you guys have ever bought costumes growing up as a kid you know how boot covers work i didn't feel like putting on boots or shoes for this video so i got my slides on but you pretty much cover your boot and then you put the strap right under the shoe so that it stays in place and it looks pretty neat uh pretty cool let me show you guys a close-up and how to put the cowl on so here's a quick close-up of the suit you got the pads on there very nice i don't have the gloves on right now the belt looks nice the boots it looks very good for like a $60 costume at Spirit Halloween compared to how it looks like in the movie. It's pretty neat. So the only complaint that I have is that from the back and from the sides, the mask or the cow doesn't look too neat. So if you want to take pictures or whatever, like I did for skits, I recommend you use the front side. But aside from that, great costume. So you put the hood on and then it leaves your face exposed. And then it has a Velcro on the back. You want to attach that and tuck it into the collar. After I did a lot of the skits, I realized it wasn't properly tucked in, so it doesn't look too great in some parts. But you got to make sure you tuck it in so that it looks screen either. You tuck it in, you guys could probably hear the Velcro there. And then this, I guess you could choose to put the strap under this, but just for the sake of the video to make it easier, I'm going to put it over. And then you just put it over. And you got yourself a Wolverine. Pretty neat. I can, I automatically just put the voice let's go i don't want to curse because i want to monetize this video so um you can see very clearly out of it you just can't look down because this is covering your vision so it's kind of like a stormtrooper helmet you gotta 
you know, or like a Batman cow, you gotta turn your whole body. But the vision is clear, just that, you know, the outline kind of covers your visibility when you're walking, you can't see your feet. You could kind of see it if you look down here, like through your nose and not through the eyes. And then the sides, of course, you gotta like turn to see. So it's pretty cool. It would have been nice if this black plastic piece was somehow like a third piece. I'm pretty sure maybe Marvel Legends are gonna release a, a helmet-like version of this where like it's two pieces. And then you could buy this costume in the Marvel Legends cowl and it'll probably look great. So that's my review for this costume. I highly recommend you guys get it if you like Deadpool and Wolverine. If you like Wolverine or if you just like Hugh Jackman's Wolverine, great costume. Um, I recommend it. Spirit Halloween.